Hi babies, it's Emma Cassidy here. Today's video is going to be the truth behind TikTok. I can only tell you what I know. I'm guessing a lot of different people that's on TikTok's answers will be different. But I'm going to spill some tea. Who doesn't want to hear some tea? We need to address the elephant in the room. I look a bit ugly, but we're not going to talk about it because, you know, Nobody's ugly, everyone's beautiful in their own way. Before we get into the video, can you please hit the like button? I think it's here, it might be here, I don't know. But wherever it is, please give me a thumbs up because it really does help me. Also, subscribe and turn the post notifications on if you want to be notified when I upload because you know I'm quite unreliable right now but I'm trying to get better this is why I've sat down to film this looking like this I have on TikTok 208.8 thousand followers now I know in comparison to like a lot of people on there I barely have any but that is a lot of people to me like it's actually shocking so if you follow me thank you so much I can only kind of speak for somebody that's got that amount of followers and even still like People might be different, I don't know. I asked a while ago for questions on my Instagram. I never answered them, but I'm here to answer them. <laughs> the first question was, how do you deal with hate? Now, I am just a very thick-skinned person. I don't care what anyone says about me. I feel like from watching my videos, I think you can tell that I really don't, <laughs> don't care. If you watch my lives, like people come on and try and say stuff to me and I'm like, <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and the thing is, I don't really get a lot of hate, which I'm really grateful for. I thought I would get actual dog's abuse, but for some reason I don't. I don't know why. I sometimes think, like, if I wasn't me, I would hate me. Do you know what I mean? Like, I would hate on me. Well, I wouldn't hate on me, obviously. I'm just thick skin. I just, like, see somebody leaves a nasty comment in a video, I just delete it, because, like, I'm not going to sit and reply back, because that's what they want. One time I replied back, right, somebody was like, you're so ugly. And I was like that. Thanks, baby. And they were like, oh my god, you replied. I love you so much. I just left you hate. Um, to see if you would reply and I was like <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, I just know that people that actually are leaving hate are just people that have got sad lives and like somebody probably in their family hates them or something so that's why they're coming on giving me abuse so <laughs> I couldn't care less. So on my lives like I have moderators and they just mute like whoever's mean so that's a good tip. The next question is are people fake in real life compared to what they are on online? Now, Everybody that's met me would say I'm the same in real life. Um, I'm not fake, you know. I'm just such a real bitch, you know. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I literally am the same in real life though. Like, I don't see the point in putting on a persona and then people are going to meet you in real life and then if you're a horrible, nasty person, like, people are going to just go and unfollow you. Do you know what I mean? I've met quite a lot of the Scottish TikTok community and I must say, most of them are lovely people love them so much like i met some of my best friends through tiktok and some amazing people through tiktok but there are some people i've met in real life and i'm like what the fuck some people i meet in real life and they're like stuck up right and <laughs> it's so funny because like you talk to them and just say they've, they've obviously got followers so they think that like they're really like cool and like they think they're famous even though you're not famous, do you know what I mean? Acts will suck up, like, they're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that is, they don't do it, yeah. <laughs> but, no, like, honestly, people I've met, and really some people, honestly, like, I wish that I could say, or like, there's some people that I know that have said nasty, horrible things, and they've got so many followers, and all looking up to them, and I'm like, that's not them, they're, they're not real, they're fake. You know, so yeah, there's a lot of fake people, but mostly, mostly everyone's nice. Do you know what I mean? I think sometimes people just let following go to their head. Honestly, if you let following go to your head, then stay away from me. The next question is, how do you grow on social media? And so many people DM me, and I'll just run through this quickly. The only tips that I say is post every day, be consistent, just be yourself. Like people are going to see through you if you're not yourself. Well, actually. Relating to my past question, do you know what? Maybe people won't see for you, do you know what I mean? And they'll think you're amazing and you're like fake. Just be yourself, be creative. Like, don't just, I get like copying the trends might get you so far, but it's only going to get you so far before people get bored, do you know what I mean? So I think just do something that people aren't doing. Like, that may be hard to think, but for example, when I went on, I was like, I'm not just going to do all the trends because I just think that's boring. Everybody can see that everywhere, so why would they? go out their way to follow you because they're seeing it all over their For You page, it's just repetitive, do you know what I mean? So if you want to go on the For You page and stand out, you're going to have to make a video that people haven't seen on their For You page when 
while scrolling through, do you know what I mean? I'd say use hashtags. Now I know some people don't use hashtags, but I do. And I've had so many people say to me like, oh, I found you through, like I was, I typed up like the Scottish, I clicked on the Scottish hashtag and I seen your face on it and then I found you through there. So I've actually had people say they've found me through hashtags like quite a lot. So I would recommend using them like, my videos do so much better. And then I would say just, yeah, 100% like, be consistent, like, if you upload every single day, people are going to know that you're going to be uploading, so they're going to follow you. That's why my YouTube's not going as well, because I don't upload them. Please subscribe, I will upload, I promise, movies. Also, I would say, if you've got a thousand followers, you can go live, so I would say, literally, go live, like, go live, because the amount of followers I get on live is insane, because your personality can really shine through on lives, and people, if they like you, they're going to follow you, do you know what I mean? And then last tip, I would say just get to know people, because genuinely, like, the Scottish, not even just the Scottish TikTok, I don't know how other places are, but the Scottish TikTok community is, like, so tight, like, everyone knows everyone, like, we all talk, like, and if you're going on lives with them, then their audience might come over to you, like, if you're doing collabs or you're doing videos, like, it's obviously going to work in your favour, do you know what I mean? The next question is, how do you make money off TikTok now? The way that I make money through TikTok, that's what I say, like, I don't know anyone else, but, like, is from Creator Fund. Now, when people join that, they're like, oh my god, it messed up my views. It messed up mine at the start, but now they're kind of back to normal. Then I make money through lives, um, and then I make money through brands. Creator Fund is, you post each day however many views you get it adds up to like payment and trust me like i'm not complaining because it's extra money for what uploading a video do you know what i mean but the money is minimal like if you're not getting that that much views like i gain from about i would say about one pound to ten pound a day just with creator fund so like if i if i have like two videos that get like three hundred thousand views like put together I only get like eight pounds <laughs> pretty low um on creator fund but if you're getting hundreds of thousands of views a day like if you're getting millions of views you're making a lot like so just depends on people's views is how much they make do you know what I mean lives you get money through gifts and then brands obviously like they ask you to promote them next question that you've probably all been waiting for is how much do you make on tiktok now <sighs> There's nothing that actual stresses me out more. I'm sorry, right? But do you know how when you watch like a YouTuber's video and they go like that? I can't disclose how much I make. Like, I get it. Like, fair enough. Like, you might not want to. Like, fair enough. You don't have to. Like, it's nobody's right to know. But the only reason that everyone's asking that is because hardly anybody are in that field of work. So how, like, it's... It's a thing, like, it's the unknown you want to know. How much do I make personally? I would say, since I joined the Creator Fund, I've only made, like, £340 from posting, like, daily. And I don't know when I joined that, maybe a few months ago. Well, I've not made that much from Creator Fund. Lies is where I made most money. I've made, like, I don't know how much it is. I'll put, like, a video or something on the screen so you can kind of see if I can find it. All the withdrawals of my lies. My lives, they used to pop off so much more when there wasn't as many people on TikTok. I get the same amount of views now, but not as many people send gifts. But to be fair, I used to put like in my titles of my lives, like highest gifter, like gets a duet or something like that, or like top three gifters get a duet. If people wanted to send gifts, then like I would obviously give them back. Then I got an angry mum messaging me one day. <laughs> she was like, why has my daughter spent my hard earned cash of two pounds on you? And I was like that. <laughs> I was like, fuck's sake. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I'm sorry. So now I don't even like put that in the title because I'm like, do you know what? That like, is, do you know what? I'll just say hi. Like, and if people send me them, that's not my fault. Like, it wasn't my fault in the first place. Like, you linked your child's bank details, but I get it. They're children. They're going to go, oh my God. Like, I like her. So I'm going to send, do you know what I mean? So I stopped doing it. The thing about lies is they take like, swear tiktok takes 60 percent or something like that i don't know if it's 60 percent 70 percent 50 percent they take something right they take a massive chunk of what you're sending on lives so somebody spent like a 20 pound gift on me one time and i got about eight pound for it uh tiktok is fucking taking everybody's money like tiktok must make billions a day like honestly like it's mad then i've made money through merch before me and ben done a spinny body collection and um, i did just bring out like new merch but i like took it not took it down but like i've not promoted it because 
um, I've not fully like thingied it yet. Like it's not fully complete. Like the way me and Ben's was, it wasn't like fully ready. Some people were like, push it out before Christmas because I want it for Christmas. So then I was like, okay, like and I, I sped up the process. So I've took it, like I'm taking it down. Me and Ben done spinny body merch before, um, and we made quite a lot of that. Probably like a thousand or something like that. Brands, so brands, it just depends on what they're offering. Like some people can go, oh, can you put up like an Instagram story for like 50 pound? And then you're like, right, okay. So I can't tell you how much I made all together off brands. Last month, I probably made about 400 pounds just from like brands, but I don't know, like that's not all together. But I'm just being honest because, you know, like, you, like people want to know. By the way, that's not me bragging, that's pe that was the most asked question. They said, how do I reach out to like brands and stuff like that? Now I've got a business email and like, I would say every one to two days, like maybe, Every second day, maybe every third day, brands message me and the amount of things that I've said no to is shocking. Like, there was one that had like this hair straightening brush and they just don't work in my hair. Like, yeah, like we'll pay you like for this hair straightening brush. I was like, I can't lie, like I can't, I can't do it. Like when I watch YouTubers, they're like, I don't do anything. It's like, they're like, I don't do anything that I don't like. And then I used to be like that. You do, obviously you do for the money, but I'm telling you, like, I don't, right, because what is the point? There was this, <laughs> I, I'm not going to, like, slate any brands in it, like, but there was this other, like, shoelace, oh, I feel bad, man, for saying it, there was a shoelace brand, right, and they were like, we'll pay you £100 for this video, but in the, like, in the video, they wanted me to say they're so cool and fashionable, and the ones that they were going to send me were not cool and fashionable. So I'm not going to go on my TikTok go, these are cool and fashionable. And then everyone buys it. No, I can't. Like, I'm sorry. To reach out to brands. Um, I So they reach out to me usually because I've put my business email. Like, put your business email in, like, your bios. Get, like, a link tree uh, that's got, like, everything in it. If you want to reach out to them, like, you're wanting to start up, like, building a wee, building, building like, a wee kind of loyalty then I would say just reach out to small brands, just say, hi, I've got this many followers, like, I love your page, but be honest, don't just do it because you want free stuff, um, and say, like, I'll promote them, and make sure you definitely do it. I feel like I've been talking for ages, but I don't feel like I've answered that many questions, but I might have. Have you ever said no to any brands? And like I said, I've said no to hundreds, like, hundreds are like, I feel so bad, like, some hundreds are like, we beauty ones reach out to me, and I do always accept, like, eyelashes but sometimes see if I've got too many like I'm like not too many eyelashes right you can never have too many eyelashes but like see if I look at them and they're not like the styles that I like or if they're if I've got like th three videos coming up like in the next few weeks I'm like no like, I don't want to accept it and then I, I feel bad if I don't like and another question was have you ever got something by a brand and hated it and not done it or have done it and yeah, I have, right? So one time this eyelash company reached out to me and they sent me eyelashes. They look beautiful and I was so excited for them. This was kind of at the start. I was so buzzing and she sent me them. She was a small business, so I, like it actually pained me so much. So she sent me them and I, I was like, done my makeup, ready to like do the video. Went to stick the eyelashes down, the band was too thick, so they just kept popping off. And now I wear eyelashes all the time, like I can stick lashes down, do you know what I mean? And it was her glue that I used, so I thought oh, I'll use my jewel glue because that's the ones that I, that I use all the time. Jewel's amazing. And they still weren't sticking, like, and then I tried the other set, they weren't sticking. It's like, maybe it's not the day, wait until the next day, they weren't sticking. Like, they just wouldn't stick, they wouldn't work with my eyes. I don't know why it was, like, I'd cut them down and everything. And I just had to message, I was like, I'm so sorry. Like, I'm so fucking sorry. Like, they're not working with my eyes and... Like, I can't say. And no, and then she was like, oh, can you just, like, upload a video saying, go and buy these? And I was like, no, I can't. Like, I'm sorry. Like, because I'm not going to tell people to go and buy something and say they're good when I don't think they're good. And then lastly is, do you feel pressured on TikTok? And now, yeah, like, 100%. Like, I haven't posted in the past three days. And I'm like... Oh my god, like, oh my god, and I feel freaking out, I'm like, I'm not posting, like, what, like, I need to get up and get ready to post, like, even today, I was like, I need to do my makeup to post, and I thought, do you know what, no, I don't, like, in the, the day, like, if you look at me and go like that, and she's not really that pretty without makeup, cool, that's the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, I'll promise to be 
trying to post more and yeah i love you so and goodbye i'll see you in my next video i'll be replying to all my comments by the way so yeah see you down there